Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com in the third week of February 2022. Musician Gary Brooker died February 19, 2022 at his home. He died of cancer at the age of 76. He was the lead singer and pianist for Procol Harum, known for their 1960s anthem, A Whiter Shade of Pale. Brooker is also being remembered for touring and recording with Ringo Starr and George Harrison. Singer Jane Marcheski died February 19, 2022, of cancer at the age of 31. She was better known as Nightbird as she competed on America's Got Talent, where she received a golden buzzer for her original song, It's Okay. Marcheski is being remembered as an inspiration who competed on the show even as she was battling cancer. U.S. Air Force hero Gail Halverson died February 16, 2022, at his home in Provo, Utah, at the age of 101. He served as a pilot, engineer, and commander from World War II through his retirement in 1974. During the Berlin airlift, he became known as the Candy Bomber for dropping candy for local children from his airplane, along with the other food supplies the U.S. provided to the people of Berlin. Halverson is being remembered as a hero who brought hope and kindness to children during a dark time. Dr. Paul Farmer died February 21, 2022, in Butaro, Rwanda. He died of an acute cardiac event at the age of 62. He co-founded Partners in Health, a nonprofit that brings healthcare to impoverished people around the world. Farmer is being remembered for his passion for saving lives as he fought AIDS, tuberculosis, and other diseases. Football player Charlie Taylor died February 19, 2022, in Virginia at the age of 80. He was a Hall of Fame wide receiver who played for Washington throughout his record-breaking career, catching well over 600 passes and playing in eight Pro Bowls. Taylor is also being remembered as a standout college player at Arizona State University. Entrepreneur Jamal Edwards died February 20th, 2022, at his mother's home in London. He died of a sudden illness at the age of 31. He founded the YouTube music channel SBTV, which helped launch the careers of musicians including Ed Sheeran and Stormzy. Edwards is being remembered as an influential leader of his generation who served as an ambassador for the British youth charity, The Prince's Trust. Singer Mark Lanigan died February 22, 2022, at his home in Killarney, Ireland, at the age of 57. He was the lead singer for the pioneering grunge band Screaming Trees, best known for their song Nearly Lost You from the soundtrack to the movie Singles. Lanigan is also being remembered for performing and recording with Kurt Cobain and Queens of the Stone Age. Comedian and magician The Amazing Jonathan died February 22, 2022 at his home in Las Vegas. He died of heart disease at the age of 63. Born Jonathan Zealous, he was known for his offbeat magic act that was featured on Comedy Central specials and in Las Vegas headline shows. The Amazing Jonathan is being remembered for creating a chaotic stage show that often turned gruesome with stunts like skewering his own tongue. TV pundit Bob Beckel died February 21, 2022, at the age of 73. 
He co-hosted the Fox News show, The Five, where he provided the liberal counterpoint to his conservative co-hosts. Beckel is also being remembered as a columnist for USA Today and as Walter Mondale's presidential campaign manager. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Utah have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Air Force Colonel Gail S. Halverson. Flags across the U.S., as well as state flags in Minnesota, have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Representative Jim Hagedorn from the state of Minnesota. Flags in Alabama have been lowered to honor the memory of Cherokee County Sheriff's Corporal Keith Morgan. Flags in Florida have been lowered to honor the memory of Officer James McWhorter of the Office of Agricultural Law Enforcement. Flags in Arizona have been lowered to honor the memory of former state senator David Bradley. Flags in California have been lowered to honor the memory of Huntington Beach Police Department officer Nicholas Vela. Flags in Massachusetts have been lowered to honor the memory of United States Army Specialist Hugens Pierre. Flags in West Virginia have been lowered to honor the memory of former state Supreme Court Justice Edwin Flowers. Flags in Ohio have been lowered to honor the memory of Jefferson County Sheriff Fred Abdallah. Flags in Michigan have been lowered to honor the memory of former state representative Woodrow Stanley. Flags in Iowa have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Army Private First Class Don D. Dowler, Jr. He was reported missing in action while fighting in the Korean War, and his remains were recently identified and will be returned home for burial. Flags in Wyoming have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Senator Leland Christensen. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Five years ago this week, actor Bill Paxton died of a stroke at the age of 61. Thirty years ago this week, actor Dick York died of complications of emphysema at the age of 63. Musician Kurt Cobain was born 55 years ago this week. He died by suicide in 1994 at the age of 27. Zookeeper and crocodile hunter Steve Irwin was born 60 years ago this week. He died in 2006 in an ocean wildlife accident at the age of 44. Senator Ted Kennedy was born 90 years ago this week. He died in 2009 of brain cancer at the age of 77. Actor Sidney Poitier was born 95 years ago this week. He died in January of cardiopulmonary failure at the age of 94. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.